Hey guys, my name is Jen, aka Green and Sheen, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I have a plant unboxing that I'm super excited about. Um, I didn't think that I would be buying plants just yet. Um, I've been having a lot of bad luck with winter and stuff like that and plants not like doing well whenever I receive them and stuff but I really wanted these and I'll tell you in a little bit why <laughs> but yeah so this will be the first time I do a plant unboxing here I usually do them on my Instagram story and yeah so we shall see how this goes I'm so nervous because it's actually been kind of chilly. <gasps> oh, there's a little note. Oh, and I love when like the letters are like handwritten. It just feels that much more personal. I actually got these plants from Etsy. Penelope! <laughs> Here she comes, y'all. And the freaking heat pack is still warm, which she provided to me for free, which is freaking awesome. I'll tell the name of the shop afterwards. Oh, here's the heat pack. Okay, hold on. I could have sworn I got three. Or maybe there's two in one. Okay. Okay, so I have two little containers here. Should I say the name? Should I say what it is? Okay, I'll just keep it here. I'm so excited. Oh. So I ordered myself some pings, some pinguiculas. Hopefully you can see that. I'm so freaking blind, I can't see. But yeah, this is a Pinguicula Titan. But yeah, this is the first ping. So I actually do have a ping, but it's not doing well, which is the reason why I really wanted to buy some more. Because I do love pings and I love the way that they look and like the care. So, sounds easy but I don't know why mine isn't doing well even though I'm doing I think I'm doing everything right but yeah so here is the there, it, there should be two in here but let me see oh no okay so it came kind of toppled over I'm not gonna lie poor thing I'm trying to position it to where I can show y'all and I only see one in here. I have to talk to the Etsy seller about that. But anyway, this one is freaking huge, which is exciting. <gasps> Hopefully y'all can see that. And this is a Pinguicula. I don't know how to pronounce these, y'all. But it's a Pinguicula Peru. I don't know if I said that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's so it's so big. Uh, and I'll show you guys mine because mine is freaking tiny. But this is nice. It's a decent size. I'm so excited. I hope I can keep these alive, y'all. I swear I ordered. Okay, so I had ordered one was supposed to come in a pair so there should have been two and then i bought another one that was just like just only one so in total it should have been three pings but i'm only seeing two here i want to check the napkin in here just in case it's not like underneath or something so let me just check that i only see one Okay, so I only see two pings, so I am missing one, but I'm sure that when I message the seller that they'll be um, 
able to work with me and resolve this issue they've been pretty communicative anytime that i've messaged them they answer really fast and they offered i mean they gave me a heat pack for free um and it was still warm in the box and everything so i'm sure maybe they just forgot but i'm gonna go ahead and message them either way they came looking really well hold on <laughs> i have to put one down so this is the first one and i hope this is picking up i hope it's clear and then this is the second one and they did come pretty like topsy-turvy inside the containers um poor things maybe they just were like really roughly handled during shipping which i freaking hate that but um yeah i'm so excited um so let me just cover these back up because i'm going to be leaving them in the containers for a little while it won't close anyway i can just tape it down okay so i have them both closed um i'm gonna be keeping them inside these containers because i actually ordered some pinguicula soil because okay let me show y'all my ping and the reason why i wanted to get new ones because mine does not look so hot <laughs> i'm wondering if i'll be able if it'll be able to catch on camera because it is so tiny and like i have it in this cute little mug okay i might have to zoom in <gasps> i forgot this has water okay give me a second okay so this is my desk <laughs> and let me see it's so dark but i'll try to zoom in and show y'all as best as i can there it is and it just it's so tiny i received it really tiny but it has not grown the bottom leaves keep dying and yeah even though i give it distilled water and everything maybe because it's in moss i'm not sure but yeah oh and here are the pings from here it's so pretty and then here's the other one but yeah let me set the camera back so anyway yeah i had bought some pinguicula soil from california carnivals no not carnivals <laughs> California carnivores that's where I got the soil from I was thinking about just using moss but the fact that mine already isn't doing so hot and it's in moss I just don't know if moss is the right substrate for me to put my pings in so like I wanted to get something that seems legit Penelope keeps wanting to make an appearance um, so anyway, yeah, I just wanted something that was like specifically for pings and like hopefully I'll have better luck growing them that way. I also thrifted a really pretty like glass bowl. I'll show it to y'all. Um, Penelope. <laughs> so I thrifted this glass bowl. And... I was actually inspired by another YouTuber. I believe her YouTube handle is Peculiar Angeline. I think. <laughs> but and I don't I'm sorry if I mispronounced that if you're watching my video, but I'll put her a screenshot of her channel right here. But yeah, she inspired me to kind of put my ping in like a beautiful glass because her carnivor carnivorous plants are like in those type of glass just like beautiful glass cups and shots and stuff and i just thought that looked so freaking pretty so yeah once i get that soil oh my gosh penelope's trying to eat the freaking tape no so yeah, once I get the soil, I'll be potting them up in here and I think that they'll do pretty okay. I 
kind of talked to her and asked how she deals with her carnivorous plants and no drainage and stuff and she gave me some really helpful information check out her channel if you haven't um i love her her carnivorous plants and she also has a few uh house plants and aeroids and she has like reptiles and spiders i love the vibes there so yeah check her out um but yeah i cannot wait to put these in here because i just feel like it'll look so pretty i don't know if they'll be all if they'll all be able to fit but I'm gonna try <laughs> and I also want to I'm still gonna contact the seller about the third ping because there should be three but I'm sure that'll be resolved this is gonna be like a day's process video I don't want to just upload this so I will see you guys whenever I get the soil in and I will pop this up with y'all um, so I can show y'all how I put it together and like the final product so yeah I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye. Hey besties, we're back and today we are going to be potting up the pings. So a few little updates before we get into it. I got my carnivorous pinguicula soil mix here. Um, I ordered this off of California carnivores and it shipped really fast and the packaging was good. So yeah. That's all I have to say about that. I also got a really cute sticker from that. So I got this really cute sticker. And I freaking love stickers. Look at the way it matches my water bottle. Super cute. Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope you guys don't mind the background. I'm sitting in my living room on the floor. It's a really beautiful sunny day and it has been so gloomy. So all I wanna do is just be around the natural sunlight. I have my blinds all the way open. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind this setup over here. Um, so yeah, anyway. I also thrifted some more pretty uh, glassware. Let me show y'all. So I got this really pretty, it reminds me of a tulip, the shape of it. Super pretty. I think I'm gonna be putting one of the pings here. Speaking of pings, the seller did reach out to me. The missing ping is already being shipped to me. It's on its way. I'm pretty sure it'll be here tomorrow. And I was gonna film this tomorrow and just so I can pot them all up right away. But when I saw how beautiful and sunny it was today, I was like, I need to take advantage of this natural lighting. So yeah, I'll, I might pot up the last one too in the video. Maybe I'll add that. We shall see. But yeah, anyway, so that was one of the glass pieces I thrifted. Don't mind my hair, by the way. I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> um, I thrifted this really pretty glass bowl with the lid that's how it looks super pretty I plan on like whenever my pings are all accl acclimated and doing well then maybe I can propagate like some leaves in here with the lid already on here to like help with humidity I feel like this would be such a cool place to put baby pings or leaf props like in here so yeah I'm not gonna be putting anything in that today but just for the future so we're gonna be working with this one here i will move the camera down so don't worry just so y'all can see exactly what i'm doing okay so hopefully this angle is okay from what i can see it looks okay i'm gonna open up the soil i also have distilled water with me i don't know if i was supposed to wet the soil beforehand i think it is already moist i'm not sure so i'm just gonna pour some of that in there i do have a spoon with me okay 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 <laughs> let me see let me just pat that down Give it the good spank. 
And I'm pretty sure I can put some more in there. Ah! It wouldn't be a potting up video if there wasn't like any mess made, so it's okay. So this one I do want it full to the top since I think I'll be potting up this one and the one coming to me together. So I'm going to fill this to the brim or try to. I have to use my spoon to be more precise. And I'm not packing it down super hard, just enough. I watched a couple videos on like potting up pings and everything, so hopefully this turns out okay. <laughs> I'm just so nervous. I want them to do well so bad. I love pings, like I said in the first, uh, the other day. By the way, today is Thursday. Yes, today is Thursday. I received these pings Saturday. So yeah, just so y'all know the timeline. And I received the bag of soil yesterday. Okay, I think that should be good for both of them. I think I'm gonna water it first. I'll water it a little bit and then maybe saturate it better afterwards. So this does have no drainage. So I kind of want to be mindful of how much water I'm giving it. Now all I want to do is collect more of these like pretty thrifted bowls because they're just they're so pretty and I feel like you can do so much with them not even like just with pings or anything like with other plants as well especially if you kind of like are curious about no drainage anyway I think that that should be good. I can't really see the water line yet, so anyway, I'll give it a little bit more water afterwards. I'm just gonna let what I put settle so far. So I'm gonna be putting this one kind of off to the side. Mm, hold on. I want it a little bit off to the side so that that way I can plant both in here when the other one gets here. So I think I'll put it right here. Just create a little bit of a hole. So it'll be more in the front. And then this, <laughs> this has me so nervous. I'm gonna gently grab it and I'm gonna try to remove the dead, like already spent leaves carefully, just cause I don't want those staying on there like forever. And I'm being super gentle with removing these leaves. I'm sorry if you can't see anything. I'm just, I'm really focused and I don't wanna mess this up. Cause I hear that they're so gentle, they can just like come apart, like the leaves. So I'm using the softest hands right now. And yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. So I'm just gonna, Kind of, oh, I'm gonna need to make a bigger hole. Or not bigger, more like wider. And I'm just gonna put her in there. Oh, there's one more leaf. And I'm just gonna lift, this is just what I've seen in videos. I'm gonna gently press it down in there and scooch the soil up against the roots. It looks so cute already, are you kidding me? Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same to the other side. 
being super careful, super gentle. Ah, and that's it. super pretty so this is what this is the only ping that I'll be living in here for now until I get my missing ping because I want them to be together because they're the same ping <laughs> they're the same species um, this one was the Peru I believe and I'm just gonna water around let me see if I can see the water line better. I think it's just the lighting here. Oh no, I see a little bit of water down there, so this is good. It's the tiniest bit, it's like about this much. So yeah, oh, ping number one done. So ping number two, I wanna put in this one. I'm really nervous about this one though, not gonna lie like about its survival if it'll make it i think i'm just being dramatic though all right let me pat this down i hope that this is all coming across okay on camera i need to start wearing my glasses in these videos because i am nearsighted i think that's the correct term i can't see that well far so sometimes it's hard to tell whether the screen is focused or not. Okay, and this one I don't really want at the tippy top. I kind of want it just a little bit of the petals above the, the soil. So I don't want it like spilling out. Again, I'm gonna give it a little bit of water before I put in the ping. And I believe this is the Titan. Using my handy dandy tweezers. And I'm putting this one right in the middle. This one doesn't have that many roots, so I can just make a little hole like so. And like I said, I did remove the dead leaves on this one beforehand but I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one here and I'm gonna be so gentle <laughs> okay and then I'm just going to carefully this one's easier though because it doesn't have that much doesn't have leave that many leaves so I can see pretty well My hands are so shaky. I do not have steady hands at all. At all at all. But I think this is good. So here's ping number two. Super cute. And the water in here I think I need to give it a little bit more. Yep, I can see a little bit of water pooling that much. I don't want a lot of water because these can rot or so I've heard in other videos. So here are the pings up close. I'll show you where I'll be putting them so for this first ping I really wanted it to be here in my living room this is my living room shelf if you've seen my plant tour and yeah because sometimes I'll get a few fungus gnats here not really that much honestly every now and then there'll be a fruit a fruit fly or a fungus gnat so I feel like it has a good chance of catching things here and of course there will be two in this bowl. And I just think it looks so freaking cute. Like what, with everyone here, adorable. I'm obsessed and I can't wait to put the second one in here. 
But yeah, let me show y'all where I'll put ping number two. So for ping number two, I wanted it here in between my queen, my anthurium queen seedlings. And yeah, it looks so stinking cute. I am so happy. I just hope that it makes it. I really do. It would be, I would be so sad <laughs> if these pings died. But no, I have trust in myself. Super cute though. I cannot, oh, Penelope wants to say hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, what was I even saying? God dang it, Penelope. Anyway, it looks so cute. And I'll add another clip of whenever I get the last ping and pot it up in the bigger pot. But yeah, for now, this is it for today, and I'll see y'all maybe tomorrow. Okay guys, we're back. Today is Monday. I have the missing ping with me, which is just a penguicula... I don't even know how to say it, and I heard it in a video, but... I'll just put the name on the screen. It's super cute. It looks like it was already sun stressing. Look at that. Adorable. So this is the plant that I'm just gonna be adding with this plant here. They're basically the same. This one's just bigger. And this one has been doing really, really well. I'm so freaking happy. But yeah, let's just get into it, pot it up, because I want to finish this video and hopefully post it tomorrow or Wednesday so here it is my hands are shaky I'm gonna flip it over see if there's any dead leaves which I don't see any so I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with this one and just create a tiny hole And then, and then place it in there like so. I'm just gonna press it down gently. And then I'm just going to lift up some of the leaves gently and push the soil against the roots underneath. And do the same thing on the other side. And there it is. That is it. Oh my gosh, they look so freaking cute. Is this one going to grow and catch up with this one and I'm gonna regret putting them together later on? Maybe. Do I care? No. <laughs> I just love that they look so freaking cute. Don't mind my chip nails. I'm a chip nails nail polish kind of gal, but anyway. Ah, so cute. So yeah, that'll be it for the video. <laughs> I'm super happy with the way that this turned out. I am already like wanting more pinguiculas, but I'm trying to have self-control and tell myself that I need to see how these go and if I can care for them properly, you know, things like that. So I don't wanna just buy a whole bunch and then like kill them. So yeah, I'm gonna be growing these out for a while before I get any more. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super happy with the way that this turned out. I hope I can keep them alive. If you have any Pinguicula care tips, you can comment them down below. I would really appreciate that. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. Please stick around and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>